My mother-in-law is from hell but in disguise. No joke. I seem to be the only one that sees it. She is the most manipulative, conniving, controlling person I have ever met. But because she puts on a smile when she's doing it, it took me four years to realize. I am only just coming to terms understanding I have bent over backwards to make this woman happy and yet she is so immature, expectant and childish. Also, she is so weird with my partner, her son. Like when she visits or we visit her, she makes him give her neck or foot massages like I hate it. It's disgusting, and it's fucking abnormal. She will come over to our place, her old house, three hours drive away, and start cleaning it, it's already clean, and hand stuff off the bench and smile at me and say, where does this go sweetie? Where does this go? And I find myself putting it away. She moves around furniture and reorganizes the cupboards. I hate it so much. If we tell her we're busy, she just comes over anyways. Recently we went out for dinner, she had drank a lot. One of my rings slipped off and I couldn't find it. She told the bar staff it was a ring from my mum who died, not true, and I was so hurt because I already lost my dad. She respects no boundaries and everyone thinks she's a saint. I'm at a loss, but needed to vent. There's loads more but would take forever to include. Another one is her inviting herself to a girl's night at a bar I had planned with two of my friends. And recently invited herself to my best friend's birthday dinner. Ah, start saying no, and stand by it. What do you do when you say, we're busy today, and she invites other family and friends over to where you live? I don't know what to do when no doesn't work or how to be more assertive. At such a loss, that is so awkward and difficult. First, if she has a set of keys to your house, change your locks and never give her a key. Second, when you tell her you're busy and she comes over anyway, do not answer the door, or just leave before she gets there. When she is invited over and starts cleaning or rearranging, ask her politely to stop. If she doesn't, the next time she wants to come over, you can explain you aren't comfortable with that because of her past behavior and meet her instead for lunch outside the home. When she shows up at private events, you can ask her to leave and tell her she was not invited, but that's pretty awkward to do in a public place in front of other people. Basically, she is walking all over your boundaries and dismissing you. You will have to take it one step further until she gets the picture. Also, take care in what you tell her about your plans. She's showing up because someone is giving her the details. Cut that line of communication. Talk to your partner about her. Tell him you'd like to create some boundaries with his mother. Be kind and respectful, but be sure to get your point across that healthy boundaries need to be created. She needs to see consequences for her actions. I know it is super awkward. Just remember you'll feel really good when she can't just drop by any time to rearrange your pantry. Stay calm, be kind, and be firm. The awkwardness has quite a big factor. So she doesn't have keys, I don't think, but you can get into the house easily or someone will let her in. Also, she has a big habit of coming over unannounced. So while I love your idea of leaving before she gets there, it isn't always possible. Also I love what you said about telling her to meet out of the house for lunch. I tried that last time and she came over anyways, so it's really frustrating when usually you tell someone no and they hear you, whereas she has heard me but is choosing to ignore it and gets away with it almost by playing dumb. Her getting into the house uninvited has to be the most frustrating. Are there any other options to limit her access? Really think about this one. I'm sorry you're going through this. My husband's mother plays dumb as well and I walk a very fine line. It might be helpful to look into books that will have better advice and strategies in dealing with people like this. If she asks and you say no, but she proceeds to show up anyway, don't let her in. Sorry I'm busy can't entertain. Sorry I'm not home right now, even if you clearly are lol, and if she gets upset, well, you told her not to come. If she just shows up even more reason, ignore and reinforce later, hey you need to text me before coming over. Just because you are home does not mean it's free time. I would also like to add, try embarrassing her. If she shows up at your best friend's dinner, for example, say something like, oh mother-in-law, you must have forgotten the conversation we had where I told you best friend explicitly uninvited you. Are you meeting someone else here? That's not the best example so I hope you understand what I mean. Basically, she may have some narcissistic qualities. If you embarrass her, she may turn red and leave. Possibly cut contact for a while, best case scenario. You can get a chain lock on your door so she can't just bust into your home uninvited. Practice telling people no and not explaining anything. Let you know stand, and stop telling her anything about your lives. Look up the grey rock method.
This is his family, so he needs to keep them in check. Otherwise he can't complain when you do it your way. My mother-in-law is so much like yours. She puts on this huge show of being nice, but it's always done to manipulate and gain control of her son and his life. She flipped the fuck out when we told her no pop-ins. I literally told her that if she just walks in the house, she might see us having sex. That shut her up, but like everyone said, change the locks. If she keeps playing dumb, have your partner talk to her about her possibly having dementia and getting checked out by a doctor. Maybe she needs to move into a home? She'll probably change her tune pretty quickly. I would honestly recommend having a read of, when I say, no, I feel guilty, as that book has some great tips and techniques to use. The other thing is that you and your husband need to set and enforce the boundaries so, what do you do when you say, we're busy today, and she invites other family and friends over to where you live? When they turn up you say, we already told you we have alternative plans, and close the door on them. It may take a couple of goes for her to get the message although if you and your husband are presenting a united front she should get the message sooner. Don't answer the door when she shows up. Call the cops if she won't leave. She's got a key? Change the locks. She cannot force her way into plans you don't let her force her way into. She asks where something goes? Mother-in-law please leave. Repeat that like a broken record. I suspect the real problem here is your spouse. He won't stand up to her, will he? You don't let them in. Sounds harsh but it'll start making her see she can't just do what she wants. People only do what you allow them to do. You and your husband allow her to get away with these things so she will continue to do them. To me, it sounds like you guys will have to get mean, it's not really being mean, it's standing up for yourselves and putting your foot down. Show her she can't get away with just showing up for one. Don't open the door, lock it so she can't just walk in. Does your dear husband see it? Enforcing boundaries alone will be difficult. It sounds like hints won't work. You both will have to sit her down and explain her offenses and boundaries. And then just consistently enforce them. It will feel mean at first but it needs to be firm and consistent. Mother-in-law we told you we had plans you need to leave. Mother-in-law this is not your house stop cleaning. When she tries to hand you something out it back down where she picked it up from and walk away.